Hey there folks, Mark Johnson, tech-snobs.com. Gonna do a full review on the Asus uh, Vivo Tab Smart. Uh, very, very nice, uh, thin and light tablet Asus has brought on. Um, it, it reminds me a lot like their Android tablets. I mean, they do a, a, a pretty nice uh, job overall with their Android tablets. They do a lot of different things, uh, make a lot of different convergence devices, and this is one of them. Unfortunately, I do not have the keyboard. It is a Bluetooth keyboard, so it doesn't attach on the bottom like the, the other ones do, but overall, still very nice, thin and light. You do have a HDMI port on this side, the left side, along with the micro USB. No USB native support. I'm sure you can get an adapter for the micro USB uh, to use that. And then you also have a, uh, I want to say this is the micro SD slot in the left hand corner as well. So you can put a micro SD card in there. I'm going to probably up to 64 gigs like most other products. Um, and this does have an Atom processor. It runs at a 1.8 uh, dual core. And it's definitely nice. Uh, I definitely really like the overall performance of this product. Uh, more so than the original Surface RT tablet which came out in October. So obviously this has a better processor in it. It does have 2 gigs of RAM but it's got an 8 megapixel camera as well. Nice, you know, display is nice, 720p. It does have NFC on it. It also even has uh, GPS as well, which uh, neither Surface has GPS or the NFC built in. So that's definitely a plus for Asus on that end. Other than that, um, they really didn't throw a lot of extra apps in here. Uh, you do get the Asus camera. You get their web storage, which is cool. You have a, a Vibe Fun Center. I'm not even really sure what that is. I may have touched on this in the past. It looks similar to other products. But yeah, everything loads. Yeah, this is kind of like their music and all that other kind of stuff. So not too bad, but I never really got into it. I didn't really think it was all that great initially when I uh, messed with it. But nonetheless, it's back for the uh, Vivo Tab Smart. But other than that, it's, it's a nice tablet. Um, it's one of the better Windows 8 tablets I've used, especially for the price. I mean, this is at $499.00. Um, and that's the same price as some of the RT tablets. So you do get a definitely a better design, thin, light, and it has just more functionality. I mean, you can install anything from Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 apps. You have a full desktop. When you go to the desktop, you can do anything that you could do on a normal computer. And for a lot of people, um, for some people, I will at least say, this product will you know surpass what they need. Um, is using a, you know maybe a, a light laptop. If you got an older laptop, this may do uh, just enough for you. Um, you can even see a picture of what the keyboard looks like as, as they have a nice little wallpaper uh, desktop background there. So overall, nice product. And like I said, you can install. They got live update. I could double click, run a Windows app, and it, and it runs just fine. It's running the background for the live update. So one thing I do notice when you hit the the Windows button at the bottom, it doesn't give you any kind of feedback so you sometimes you may not know if you've hit it right or not so that's one thing uh, to keep in mind but other than that very nice tablet I can definitely recommend it um, the only thing I will say just caution you like once you add the keyboard on which I want to say is 129 now you're over you know 650 almost closer to $700 and it's like at that price point you're getting closer to the the much faster i5 um, Windows 8 Pro tablets out there so definitely keep that in mind but you know something if you want something very light and thin I mean really, it's probably as good as you're gonna get uh, right now for Windows 8 as far as a you know atom processor for 500 bucks so thanks for watching folks be sure to check the site out techthatsnobs.com more coverage is gonna be there you know stand-up job goes to Asus and thanks for watching take care